more than a month since the Israeli army began its attacks on the Gaza Strip, which have caused the death of more than 11,000 civilians. These attacks even target residential areas. Let's watch the report of our correspondent, Huda Higasi, on one of the latest attacks. We found ourselves in front of the house of the family Abu Huda, one of the houses that have been shelled in a deliberate act here in the governorate of Khan Yunis. This house, which is right next to the Nasser Hospital of this governorate, was shelled by the missiles of the Israeli occupation army. Approximately 2 a.m. when its inhabitants, the residents of this house, as well as the neighbors, were sleeping peaceful in their homes. We will now proceed to talk to one of the neighbors to tell us exactly what happened in this attack. Hello? Please, can you tell me what happened after this attack and where were you? We were outside the house during the attack because this house was kind of targeted by the Israeli aggression. Without notice and without any warning, they shell the houses. The shelling caused partial damage to this house, but other nearby houses were completely destroyed, and several martyrs and several wounded fell. As we can see, it happened without warning. The planes of the occupation army proceed to attack this house, which we can see how it has been completely destroyed. In this attack, at least three Palestinians were killed. We were talking about a man and two of his children, one of them a kid. The house was shelled by two F-16 missiles that have caused all this destruction. As we can see, the whole living room, the kitchen, the rooms, nothing has left in this place. The army of the Israeli occupation proceeded to bomb the entire house. Unfortunately, this attack took place in the middle of the night at 2 a.m. when the inhabitants were sleeping. Even the neighbors were terrified by the strong explosion, and the surrounding houses were partially damaged, as we can see. We are talking about a house that was inside a residential neighborhood where people were sleeping peacefully at long hours of the night. As I said, and yet the army of the Israeli occupation has proceeded to bomb it without warning. When this civilian population, innocent, was sleeping in their rooms, and unfortunately, dozens of wounded have fallen due to the Israeli attack on residential homes. The government of Belize announced on Tuesday a package of measures against the government of Israel for the genocide that Tel Aviv is carrying out against the citizens of the Gaza Strip. The measures include the withdrawal of consent for the accreditation of H.E. Ainat Kranzniger, ambassador to Belize to the United Nations, Ainat Kranzniger, and also the ambassador designate of Israel to Belize. The suspension of all activities of the Honorary Consulate of Israel in Belize and of Belize and Tel Aviv, and the appointment of the Honorary Consul, the withdrawal of the appointment of its Honorary Consul, and also the withdrawal of its application for the accreditation of Mr. Jonathan Enough as Honorary Consul of Belize. Belize renewed.